What's up guys, my name is TechDobo and today I'll be showing you guys the quickest way to get a Rust server up and running with Oxide installed which allows you to have teleportation, infinite ammo and other mods like that. So step number one is to head across to the Rustify tutorial linked in the description down below. So obviously you're gonna have to follow this tutorial, I'll do it on screen right now so you can see what it looks like. Basically hit the download button for Steam CMD, it's right there, open it and then drag and drop it into a folder and run it. Once it's done, you can close the file that you downloaded and delete it if you so wish. So go ahead and type in login space anonymous. And if you'd like to set a custom folder for it to go into, you can follow the command here, force install dir, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm instead just gonna type in app underscore update 2858550. I find this easier to use because it goes ahead and installs into this folder here. Because it's the only server we want to run, we don't specifically need to put it into special folders. If you head into Steam Apps Common, you'll see a Rust dedicated folder. This is where it will download to. If you look in downloading, you'll see it's downloading right here. So obviously, if you'd like to download the beta versions or staging branch, just go ahead and add hyphen beta, space staging, or pre-release to get those different versions. Now, of course, this is going to take a while, and unfortunately, you're going to have to download the entire 8.4 gigs again for the Rust server. You can't just copy-paste from your game file into here. Now, of course, I have a 200 megabit per second fiber line, so this is going to be a very quick download of probably five to six minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and time-lapse this download for your enjoyment. Once that's finished, go ahead and type quit and hit enter. Then in this folder, right-click new text document and name it start dot bat. If you can't get rid of the dot txt, make sure to hit view and then make sure file name extensions is ticked and then make sure it's dot bat and not dot bat dot txt. Right click edit, then go ahead and copy paste the piece of script in the description down below and make sure to change this right over here to your folder in here. So go to steam apps, common, rust dedicated, copy this with control C and then paste it into here. Once that's done, make sure you set the server password. If you don't want one, go ahead and remove this entirely or make sure that the server password is blank. Then scroll across. You can set the max amount of players and then set the host name to be what you want your server to be called. So we'll call it Rust Server Test. Set the description to what you want. You can go ahead and set the rest of these details, but you don't really need to. The last thing you need to do is set the Archon password to something very secret. That you're not going to tell anyone. Then if you'd like your friends to join you over the internet, you're going to need to make sure the ports 28016 and 28015, the server port and the Archon port, are forwarded to your PC and your firewall allows them through. If you're just going to play it by yourself or on a local network, make sure your firewall is either temporarily disabled or you've allowed those same ports to your PC. Go ahead and hit save with Control S, head back to your Steam folder and make sure to run start.bat. Wait for it to complete. Head to the Oxide download link in the description down below, hover over the Rust icon and hit download. Then head across to Steam Apps, Common, Rust Dedicated, and then drag and drop this file into here. When it asks you if you want to merge, hit yes, and then hit do this for all current items, yes, and then replace. Now we're gonna have to quit the Rust server by typing quit and hinting enter. Then you can go ahead and close the Rust server and hit try again. And then once that's done, you now have Oxide installed. So we can go back to Rust and start .bat once again. This time when it loads, you should notice that inside of the Rust dedicated folder, you'll have Oxide. And inside of here is where you can put your plugins. And then once you've put your plugins in there and made sure to refresh them, you can go to config and edit your settings there. So now obviously you're going to want to know how to set yourself as admin on the server so you can go ahead and change server side commands and all that good stuff like that. Be warned that a lot of Oxide mods will tell you to make yourself an admin on those specific mods using their specific methods. Now at least for this step, you don't need to start up Rust and join the server, even though you'll probably want to do that at this stage. Be warned, don't connect just yet, otherwise once you make yourself admin, you'll have to reconnect. Go ahead and Google Steam ID Finder, or click the last link in the description down below, and then go ahead and paste in your Steam link, and hit enter, and then copy the Steam ID 64. Then go ahead and type in owner ID, one word, copy paste in your Steam ID, and then type in your name as it would be on Steam. If it's got a space in it, make sure to put it in inverted commas. I'll set it to Technobo, 
and hit enter. Once you've done that, you can now go ahead and join the server and enjoy all of the admin commands like spawning in stuff, no clip debug camera and all of that good stuff. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorials like this in the future. If you'd like to check out my gaming channel, that's going to be linked on screen in the end card. And yeah, thank you all for watching. My name has been Techbilbo and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.